Hey guys, welcome back to the Mob Jazz Podcast, episode 21. Yeah. yeah. We're here with our boys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome, welcome, welcome. You want to introduce yourselves or not? Now they know you. How you guys feeling? Fine, man. Fine, <laughs> 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 um, bro. Fine, fine. I have a quick question, you guys. How does airplane mode work? I didn't know what happens when so you put it on airplane mode. When you put it in airplane mode, it doesn't receive or send out signals. So basically, mm. your phone is just your phone. Yes, yeah, just your no phone. No GPS, nothing. No GPS, no cellular data, no internet. It just cuts off all like yeah. all network. All, all networks. Like cap. All cellular communication. Bounces the receiver. I feel like it bounces Bluetooth. them for you. Mm-hmm. But then the phone is still doing its internal jazz that you don't know am about. I, okay, there's am some am internal wrong? jazz, but it can't I'm send out. Uh, is it, unless sometimes when you can connect to the Wi-Fi while you're in airplane mode. Yeah, you can. If you turn on airplane mode and then tap the Wi-Fi button, mm. you can. Mm. So what does that mean? That mean that you can still. <laughs> it means that are you card, receiving? The are you giving? <laughs> the SIM card is deactivated as if. Okay. But the rest can work. That means nothing can come in, but Wi-Fi is coming from out. It's coming in, right? Yeah. Pause. So what has been? Let me first put my phone in airplane mode now, and then yeah, Wi-Fi is still working. Still yeah, 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 Wi-Fi yeah. still works. It's actually it's, no, it's it the does not. That can't. Me, my Wi-Fi nah, works. You I don't know wa- about you. Pause, bounce the Wi-Fi, and then tap it again. Okay, let me turn it off and turn it on. No, it doesn't work. Uh, Bro, my Wi-Fi works. Yeah, I think mine works as new, well. That's the new OS. No, no, I, do. I think mine works as well. And if that was just... Do mine works? Just a thought. No, first try searching for something. I've used it before in April. Yeah, so have I. That was just an errant thought. Uh, how are you guys doing, man? A new week is upon us. How are we feeling? That was a weekend. My weekend was boring. I was at home the whole time. Hey, now that's boring, eh? Uh, last week it was fun. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> last week you were so I glad told you to it be was fun, home. but you guys were like, you know, it's boring. coming to an end. That's how you know. <laughs> that's how you know. And now, yo, you think I'm about to leave the crib? Now, that's how you know. Muchivi time is almost done. Time yeah, for magic. Yeah, time magic for magic season. Magic, magic season is upon us. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you. Funnily enough, magic I Mike. I, I thought I get tired of being at home, but not yet, bro. I'm actually enjoying it more and more. Like, ah, no. When I get out of the crib now, I want mm. to go back home. Which is that weird? boring. Hmm? You call the boring. an introvert. Boring in terms of nothing exciting to tell the viewers. But mm. yeah, that, that's that's that's, okay. that's what I meant okay. by boring. Fair enough. But uh, come again. Do you think you're an introvert? Hmm. I think I'm an extroverted introvert. Uh, nigga, I had I'll some guy it. rap I'll that thing. I'll vomit to say it again. <laughs> introverted extrovert. I'll it again, <laughs> Actually, I think I'm more of an introverted uh, extrovert. And an yeah. extroverted introvert. Well, a friend who loves to say that, but I won't, I won't put her on blast. <laughs> <laughs> but she's our bad day. She loves to call herself that. Extroverted introvert yeah. or introverted yeah. extrovert? Of course, you both I know her, man. It's one of our favorites. <laughs> one of our best. Tina, she's copying you guys. Yeah, but I, mean, I think it's true. Um, I don't know. But to answer your question, honestly, I think I'm more of an extrovert that likes to stay at home, indoors. Mm-hmm. I, mean, I think that all those things are just very seasonal, man. I think sometimes you want to be outside, and sometimes you want to be in the house, man. I think that you right now you're just in an inside period. For now, eh? Yeah. Because mm-hmm. outside got a bit out of hand. You had like a an explosive end to outside. <laughs> <laughs> so you had to be inside for a bit. How did nah, you go back outside? I guess, I guess. I think that's how it started. Because when you talk about this trip, I can see you want to be outside. No, 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 no. Now, now that trip, eh, hey. that's what will remove me from the crib. Hey. Like, that's it. Like, that's going to be outside. That's going to be outside. outside. That's why, why you want to be in the crib. Because huh? you're like, let me save Let myself. me relax. Yeah, until now that because I'm saving it. myself. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm saving, <laughs> I'm saving <laughs> my, oh, my, 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 what? My kasigiri, my energy yeah. for that trip, bro. Saving on your life. when you're an introvert, bro. Yeah. I said I'm I, an extrovert who likes to be indoors. Who, who, such like to be in those right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're yeah, getting yeah. listening to the semantics <laughs> right <Yeah>. now. <laughs> uh, what about you, boys? Bro, I don't remember the weekend. Let me first see which day is today. Yeah, so, Friday night I didn't sleep home. Mm. They locked me out, man. Really? Yeah. As in you go to Mandos. They've had it with you. No, they, just, they just called me and they were like, boss, don't come back. We're not, hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I've had it up to here where you are. with your voice. <laughs> <laughs> they just told me <laughs> they're not there. It was that simple. Yeah. Hello? Yes, hello. We're not at home. Bye. Ah. Damn. Yeah. So I just leave. A friend's a friend. Friend. Ah, friend. Yeah. Was yeah. it me? Was it you? Nah, nah. nah yeah, nah. I wasn't you either. <laughs> Wendy, was it you? When the, when the <laughs> <laughs> but it was a team. My friend's place. Thank you, friend, for, for hosting our voice. Please, thank you, thank you. Yeah. I mean, it, bro. Uh, it what? Hmm. 
food. Ah, <laughs> clarity is key. <laughs> clarity is key. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, yeah, such a day. Yeah, cake. Such a day was deep down <laughs> either. Um, what were you? How how deep down? Mm. Yeah, boy, you're being you're being very <laughs> mysterious. I don't get it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that, been, that that tone you're using, man. That that musty voice, misty. Also, also, <laughs> G- give it like five minutes to be gone. Nah, <laughs> listen, bro. Where'd you go? You don't tell us. Is it private? I'll tell you guys after the okay, break. Okay, How was your weekend, you? Concern. Um, let's see what did I do on Friday, man. I had a decent weekend, I think. Friday, I met up one of my really good friends who I used to walk with in the lockdown, and went for another walk and just caught up, just da 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 da. And I went home, uh, had an edible, listened to music. New Drake album came out. Did I come out on Friday or earlier, like mm. Thursday or something? Sure. How do you find that? Love it. I think yeah. it, it came Love out it, bro. Love it. I haven't listened to it yet, but I haven't been hearing positive reviews. Yeah, guys are just stupid, man. Guys are, guys, and guys, you know, guys it's because the Americans are in the driving seat, but I promise you, the rest of the world, everyone loves it. Yeah. It's so fire, bro. You'll listen. It's like a, it's basically a house album. Like like house it's music? Like, like house yeah, it's, 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 like, it's like Drake vocals over house music. It sounds fuck. It sounds phenomenal, bro. I've you heard, know, I've listened you know to the one vocals, song, like, Singing Drake, yeah. yeah uh, the yeah. one song I listen to you is the vibe you are describing, but I yeah. don't know that's a whole album. That way he married apart. 23 girls. Yeah, video. falling but apart. That's a video. Apart, that's yeah. like a first song on the album. Sick video though. Sick video. Very. Sick. And let me tell you that song. After listening to it, like now, nah, literally after listening to it like a second time, it will be stuck in your head. It's so hard. It's, it's such, such a good such song. A such Actually, a good song. for me, that entire album there's no it's, song that bored. Yeah, me None. neither, bro. It's such a good album. You know, you listen. You listen. I listen. I listen. But yeah, the Americans didn't, don't didn't like it. Didn't even come and say that the people who don't get it will yeah, catch yeah, up. Yeah, yeah that's really what he said. That's what Drake said. Yeah. Um, it's a very nah, dope album, it. man. <laughs> 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 I feel like he's trying to like preemptively. But like, you know, catch us. No, no, no. <laughs> but you know, you know, it's a Drake thing, though. Guys, guys really hate those albums when they f- when they first come. Out. I remember which I album was it for me like a new Drake thing. But you guys used to love Drake's albums the moment they dropped. No, 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 no it's like months, and then after that, guys, like, guys are like, "This is jump my... slap." Man. No, let me tell you, <laughs> the only album I can remember, guys, not complaining about views. Me, it has to be no, views. Views, guys, no, views hated complain. to views, this bro. day. They I don't know, man, but my guys people like views. Views, I like views. Views, views might be one of his best aging albums. That album is spectacular. I think, it's but okay, no, continue. There's an album that the only album guys didn't complain about was I think nothing was the same. That was fine, and that's kind of because it wasn't too far off from what Take Care was. But guys complained about take care. I remember so vividly guys complaining about take care until it sank in. Which guys? I guess so many guys. Hip hop heads. Like, what's this guy doing? Okay, maybe what? they just hated doing singing jazz. Yeah, guys didn't, guys don't like okay, it. Okay, that, that's understandable. But like Drake fans. No, but around that time also Drake was trying out many different things, you guys. Mm. He had gone to the UK, he was now like a drill artist. Then he was mm. in in Africa. Being no, that's the like that's the views period now. Drilling, what, what, Afro beating, <laughs> you know, Drake. I think guys don't like that shit. <laughs> yeah, so even this one, guys, the moment guys saw that it was a dance album because that's what the genre was, guys were like, ah, uh, it's But yeah, I, I also think, think it's way too fire. But the album's hard, bro. There's a lot of cool production, and there's a lot of black coffee production mm. on it. Because as, 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 as the first time I had it, I was like, this this has to sound like black coffee. coffee. Yeah, it has there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of just house musicians, I think, on it. So like Afro house, house like Afro Jack. What house are we talking bro, about? Bro, it's everything. Bro, it, if you, you listen to you a Black Coffee album, it sounds a lot like that. But it's Drake singing. <laughs> kind of, beats. yeah, kind of so similar <laughs> to that. But it's a vibe, bro. I promise you. Now nah, I'll definitely. You know check everything it out about eventually. that album is that other things he's saying. It's still proper Drake, bro. He's still saying like outrageous things, but over like very vibey beats. Anyways, uh, that's so how I was Friday. Listen music and just, yeah. Then Saturday, I had a wedding, one of my friend's weddings. So went for that, bro. It was in the Akrite Estate. What a lovely estate, bro. 
Don't I don't know if you guys ever like in, see see yourselves living in the states in your future. But <laughs> what a lovely estate, bro. You don't live in an estate? I think so, What's man. So about Those it? guys are such a that's a creator of an estate. It's an estate. The whole the one like is an estate. Road said. Yeah. It's just one. It's just, it's just that one, one. big ass estate. I thought bro, everyone there is so nice. In the estate. Yeah, like they're all like a far more. And they all take care of each other. So like everyone took part kind of in the wedding and they take part in all each other's if bro, it's just dope. That sounds kinda like a cult. No, it's a community. <laughs> <laughs> Why is so okay? Look, at this, look at this in the room. In the room, dude. Okay, it sounds like now. a secret society. No, 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 no. At our it's just, a, it's just a, a good community, man. There's not a lot of those anymore. This guy has lost touch with society. Yeah, he has, <laughs> 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 He's a worst case scenario, dude. <laughs> guys who live and work together. Cult. Cult. Just yeah. see what you're doing in your room, drinking bro. Drinking the Kool-Aid. Do you, guys watch, do you guys want to watch Wild Wild West? Wild Wild West. Is that the really, really old one? Uh, not really old. Maybe right now it's maybe like four or five years old. That's definitely another one, though. I haven't touched that. I it's think about uh, it today in the West. No, Wild Wild West was uh, it was about a cult. It's about this Indian guru who comes to America. I think he, his following started in the in the in India, but he came to America and it was like at the peak of that kind of era, the hippie era, uh-huh. as if. So he he formed this big ass community and he had a lot of money. So he came to America and bought. A lot of land, eh? and his like followers were literally living high paying jobs, all that shit, and coming to this community and just building. Man, guys were growing their own food, like that. They had like engineers, architects, what, 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 as part of the group. So, guys were planning, da, 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 da. yeah, man. The US government so actually didn't like it, man. Oh, so, were yeah. they doing anything wrong? No, or they just did not like the fact yeah, that you're starting a community. A community. No. And also, like they had, they used to wear a particular color, so the people in the neighboring areas felt uncomfortable. And the the place where they bought the land, obviously, was I think in the south. So Race. guys were like, "Who are all of these?" With the Indians. Yeah, who are <laughs> these? <laughs> they didn't like it, man. So you should watch it. It's a really, really. That hard sounds interesting. Series. What color would they wear? Just out of curiosity. Um, it was like a burnt orange, like brown. No, it's already, it's always white, yeah. man. <laughs> it was such a bro. It's it serious. Listen, in the, the beginning of the doki, you're just like, yeah. bro, this is so cool. Because he wasn't, it didn't seem like he was exploiting them necessarily, bro. It looked like he was just. But that's how these cults all start, bro. They yeah. start like, he's, he's not he exploiting like he's them. Wrong, eh? Then, fast yeah. forward 10 years, a guy has abused of our I think it's their, their obsession with him was unrealistic, that's for sure. Yeah. yeah I thought you'd solve all his problems. Y- all their problems. Yeah, they kind of saw him as like. Like almost like the prophet or something. Yeah, no, <laughs> not just the prophet. What's the word for a guy who they think is divine? They kind of thought he was divine. But yeah, it was a very cool. You should watch it. Wild Wild West. Wild Wild West. Do you, remember, do you remember the the cult in Umbrella Academy? Which nah, one? it was your stopped man season hey, one. So yeah. never mind. It's yeah. Yeah. Umbrella Academy. There's <laughs> another cult. <laughs> Cults are actually so interesting to me, man. Man. So, so interesting to me. But that's another story. What's a, what was that Brad Pitt movie from last year? Where they were, they kind of were like... The Marilyn Manson. It's not the Marilyn Manson. The Manson. Yeah. yeah that the, Manson guy. What the, the, guy Manson killed, the guy who killed two guys in LA. Yeah. The act- actresses. Yeah. It's called something Manson. Like... I forget. Ah, I forgot what the movie was called. But what no, oh, the movie was called Once a Time in Hollywood. Ah, Once Upon a movie. Time. I love that movie. But the murderer was called something. I'm trying to forget his name. Yeah, that was a weird cult. Yeah, that one was a cult. Yeah, that was a weird so, What were they doing? They were violent. It was like kill, a hippie bro. cult, mm, bro. Like KKK type thing. Yeah. You no, know, they would kill just to appease the guy. The guy was a murderer, and I guess he convinced guys to kill with him. <laughs> They're just Madara. like a group of hippies. Oh, mm. That was a true story. They went and killed an actress. They like entered the house. And, and the director, right? Yeah. Not famous. Director. Really famous one. They killed them. So in this movie, it was like, instead of attacking that lady, they attacked her neighbor. Yeah. And the neighbor has happened to be Brad Pitt and his dog. Yeah. Mash them <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> and he was <laughs> ripping off acid. <laughs> it, it, it was a mess, bro. It was a mess. Anyways, where were we? Where were we? Where were we? What do you guys want to talk about today, man? I don't know. Should we start it off light? Yeah, let's start light, it off light. Yeah, yeah, let's start it super light. Super, super light. light, yeah. So let's first talk about elephants, you gay. Bro, that's that's heavy, crazy. Bro. That's like that's heavy, that's bro. Crazy. That's, <laughs> that's like <real. laughs> that's heavy on so many levels. Yeah. The elephant that's heavy, is that's heavy. A triple. <laughs> the topic <laughs> is heavier. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nah, that's bro. That elephant story has been sending me. But I need you guys to break it down for me. 
Because me, I first of all, I thought it was in the States. But you guys just told me it was in India. <laughs> it was in India. Uh-huh. <laughs> so what's the story? Now, nah, this guy, maybe he has all the details. I don't. <laughs> I just know the basics of yeah. the story. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but no, this is Indian chick. Damn, what was she doing? She was like hitting these elephants or something. Was she? I know, man. No, bro. It just is that the elephant killed her. <laughs> That's how yeah, we started from. It, 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 it <laughs> That's for no know. reason. <laughs> this woman died in an elephant trampling. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And the, then the she was fancha. getting buried. <laughs> and the elephant heard about it and came back to double down <laughs> and kill her alone again. Bro, bro that's my thing. It didn't, it didn't kill anyone empty. else at the barrio. It just came and trampled on her again. <laughs> that story was. I think it didn't like her face or something, bro. Like, that was too petty. Uh, but yeah. I have so many questions from this thing. How did the elephant find out about the funeral? You know, that's my thing. <laughs> like, <laughs> it must have seen from Funny's leg. Like, Wait, isn't that the chick who. <laughs> is it the picture they put in front of like the coffin that or something? That was my thing. I was like, as it? How? How? <laughs> How small is this community, bro? Is the <laughs> elephant just always around? <laughs> is it like the communal elephant? What if, What would she have had to do, though, to this elephant? To mash up the elephant? Yeah. Man, I know elephants are very sharp, and they also have, they keep grudges. Yeah, apparently they have incredible memories. Yeah, yeah, so, I don't know, maybe she tortured it or something, but the elephant wasn't having it that day yeah. or, or forever, bro. I was dying at this, this is a thread of a guy talking about another story of a guy who... Was at a like a national park or some shit and found a baby elephant, and it had a like a stick jammed up its foot. Mm, I've heard this yeah, story. story. Yeah. yeah. So he he helped it and took that foot that stick out, and then um, all these years later, the guy is at the zoo with this farmer, and this elephant just comes like charging at him and stops, and then he kind of like puts his leg up the way that the other baby elephant is. Did. And like, I was like, bro, is this the same elephant? So he goes over the fence and like goes to touch it and he tramples <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a <laughs> <laughs> uh, But let me tell you guys, fun. apparently after this elephant mashed up the chick's corpse, mm-hmm. it signaled its other boys to come and mash everyone And they up. came and cleared the village. Nah, that's a that's now extra Bro, sauce. This thing keeps escalating. <laughs> this is <story. laughs> like extra sauce. Honestly, that sounds like extra sauce. <laughs> I forgot what it was, but I I saw a TikTok about this. You know this guy on TikTok who just talks about animals and how messed up they are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The guy with the tiny mic. Yeah, yeah. This stuff he said about the elephants. I forgot what he called it. I don't want to misinform guys, but apparently there's this phase that elephants go through, particularly male elephants, uh, where they're just crazy, bro. For like two to three months, they're just horny and crazy, bro. Their eyes become a certain way, like it's creased and like a eye, bro. It looks it, it looks dangerous when you just look at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all they want to do in those three to two months is kill and fuck. Is it like a paya or like in their lifetime? I think every couple of be I don't know, bro. They kind of call it like adolescence or something. So it's the most dangerous stage of an elephant. So he said that that's probably a stage this thing here was in. <laughs> the, the lady, so when when yeah. she ran into this elephant and she yeah. offended it. Now, did you say that chick was playing with a baby elephant? Mm, and it undressed oh her, bro. Oh, my. <laughs> undressed? Yeah, it undressed her. It fast through her. <laughs> oh, Lord, bro. It fast through her. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. And apparently that kind of thing was like three months. But let yeah, me tell you, like, like 300 you. kilos, bro. I'll keep it 100, 100 with you guys. There's nothing. I have no, like, need. Uh, like, I, I don't feel any urge to go to as an animal that big and play with it, bro. An elephant. Honestly, bro, man. I don't think, I don't think <laughs> it's I'm not even one of those people who thinks it's cute when it, like, carries people up. I'm not one of those dudes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just expecting the worst. <laughs> Because animal has no idea of my intentions, and I similarly have no idea of it. So let's just stay apart, bro. Bruh, an animal might have trauma from past humans, man. That's yeah. my, that's always my biggest fear with these animals. What have, you ever, have you ever come across an, an elephant, like, directly? Yeah. I've seen one in a national park. Yeah. It, it must be the same one. Around, was it Queen Elizabeth? Yeah. Bro, that elephant visits there every night. That's the one. Mm. Mm. Yeah. The one elephant everyone knows, you gay. What, Actually, what about it? Yeah, the crazy thing is the last time that I saw an elephant <coughs> was at Matchison Park, Matchison Falls National Park. And we're leaving the hotel. We're leaving Para and we're going to pick someone. Bro, I kid you not, eh, 
we had just driven it's at the entrance we had just driven past like this bro these you know how you're driving and you you see like two things from the periphery of your eyes mm. just dust and then two things charging bro these two elephants were charging to cross that road if we had been driving any slower they would have cleared us ah now when we came back they were still like on the, now they had crossed on the other side of the road but I just remember thinking, Jesus Christ, these things could have trampled us. Easily. And not blinked. <sighs> Easily. You gay. And yeah. Nah. Yeah, I'm good of elephants, bro. And I feel the same way about most big mammals. <laughs> Even horses, yeah, bro. Let me tell you, they're like buffaloes. Those ones that are like cows, you gay. Yeah. Buffa- Damn. Yeah, but now what am I doing? Now, okay, now, why would man. I try and rub that? Those ones I, I don't want to. Bro, I don't want to be that, violent. The same night I saw an elephant, we saw a buffalo. Uh. It's hella scary, you gay. Bro. And you say the thing is they don't fear you. Have you guys ridden horses? I have once. Once. You have it. Yeah. <coughs> hey, 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 hey. The last time I rode a horse, bro. I was just uh, the place that I rode it at is a place where they don't have that much um not not that many people go there to ride the horses. So not all the horses have been ridden, but even further, the ones that have been ridden, not all of them want to be ridden. Uh-huh. <laughs> Bro, those horses were volatile. Small, you just pull its neck slightly and it's like, and really. so just to mount <laughs> it, <laughs> just mounting it was a task. Because uh-huh. <laughs> you mount it and you can see how that thing wants to go. Okay. Yeah, and I want you to mount it. Bro. And you know what's funny is horses are also equal. Okay, well, when they are trained, they're like elephants, if that makes sense. Uh, like they're, they're, they're very smart. nice, yeah. they're smart, but. They kick. Them once. See, that's my problem. <laughs> that should have killed its instructor. It's <laughs> 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 Jew. I like that. It's his man. <laughs> it killed him. Now what am I doing, bro? And you know, it, it's so funny how we are as, as kids because I remember so clearly reading that story of, or like one of our first Supermans, and how he was riding one of his horses and, and he threw him off, off, and then the guy was disabled for life. For the neck the guy was, yeah, I was like, ah, ah, <laughs> <laughs> like this man. Yeah, comic traumatized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know when I read that horse guy, it definitely looked like. No, it wasn't a comic, bro. It wasn't a comic. The actor, the Matt actor. Reeves. I th- was he called yeah. Matt Reeves? Christopher Reeves. I don't remember this. He he was paralyzed from the neck down. Yeah, the Auto first Auto original Man. Superman movie. Nah, bro. He fell off a that horse. That was the light blue suit. That yeah. one. Uh, ah. Who. who that one. He, that's actually how he died, by the way. Like, yeah, just leave big mammals later. alone. If it's, not a, if it's not a cow. Bro, even me, I like, we have cows, but I keep seeing like snaps of guys like hugging their cows. What? Nah. Yeah, even those dude, cows, bro, bro, they can it kick can your also. flip, bro. <laughs> bro. Let me tell you, there's nothing I fear more than cows in this world, you guy. There's nothing you should fear more cows. than a scared animal. Scared animal. Bro, even bro. a scared mouse can, can mess with you, bro. I think as we always think that it's, that how? it's anger, but most times it's just scared fear. Mouse. A scared, scared mouse. mouse. <laughs> okay, how did you? S- obviously, a scared mouse is going to run away. But how's it going to happen? <laughs> how can it <laughs> retaliate? <laughs> Imagine, I see a mouse running and it does a, it does a turn. <laughs> and it back. looks back at you like, hey. <laughs> what does that? Oh wait, what is that Love, Death, and Robots episode with a mice? Um, I when the guy got a machine to yeah, that was a hard episode. <laughs> Those was mice were playing, yeah. yeah. I haven't yet finished it. Ah, uh, you should watch that episode. You. That episode was so hard. That episode was so, so things. hard. <laughs> but let me tell you one animal that scares me that doesn't scare many people. Mm-hmm. Have you guys ever seen those chickens that chase men? Yeah, I've seen those. Uh, yeah. Chickens, turkeys. <laughs> Manchester chi- No, turkeys. Yeah, turkeys are I, crazy. I, I can make that sound of theirs. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> deal with turkeys, bro. <laughs> then they puff up their wings yeah. and they like <laughs> put them on the ground and run them in the yeah. dust. Yeah. Oh, they're so scary, bro. Yeah. Turkeys are so scary. Yeah, this guy remembers this with too much detail. How do guys, <laughs> how do guys kill them? How do guys kill them? Is it how the same way as chickens? Like, does one guy just grab it? I guess. I don't know. I've never cut I a turkey. Okay, it must be a know. technique. I think oh, it but just looks scary. It's not strong enough to overpower you. Yeah, to overpower a full-grown man. Yeah. It just looks bad. It's just <laughs> messed up, it's bro. It's strong enough to scare you. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a big bird. <laughs> a big bird. And the meat isn't even like great. Nah, turkey meat is nice. It was not great. It's, 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 it's just cow. Turkey meat is only good because of like the stuffing. But you can't get like, you can't really mess it up and it's just too tough. Have you had turkey sandwiches? I have. But Amazing. Um, bro, I've, never, I've never eaten a turkey. Cook. Cook. <laughs> Your mom can cook. Oh. I've never eaten a turkey. You've never eaten a turkey? Soft bro. turkey. That was too funny. That was too too funny. Did you guys hear about um 
the British government sending its refugees to Rwanda. Nah, you first. That's light. Us. That's light to you. This is what you guys, you guys have a wild <laughs> definition <laughs> of light. I'm not gonna hold it. Your topics are just. Whew, I don't know. Did you guys hear this story? No, man. I, I, I it's refugees from where? From uh, from the UK. So basically, asylum seekers, guys who kind of come in illegally, you can now. There's, they're trying to pass this bill in the UK Parliament where you can get. I don't want to say deported, but like shipped off to Rwanda. And Rwanda will now become your new home. It's only Rwanda. It's only Rwanda that they have the deal with right now. Mm. It's one of those deals that they're able to do because they're not in the European Union anymore. They can kind of mm. negotiate such a deal. But I found it crazy, bro. And Rwanda just hosted Chogam, right? Yeah. yeah. Just? Or is hosting. It's something hosting. like that. I'm not sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what you guys think about this because <laughs> is it. I, 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 what those, are the specifics of the deal? Those are the specifics. They will take asylum seekers who have arrived illegally in the UK and ship them to from Rwanda. other countries. Yeah, from other countries. Like you know, like the UK has a and Europe has a big problem of like immigrants coming in from North Africa, from West Africa, from uh, those what are those, what are those countries like those Eastern European countries. Mm. So now those asylum seekers can get taken to Rwanda, and the reason they say Rwanda is because they want to break the kind of like supply chain of these guys who bring these people, like I don't, like these human traffickers, because mm-hmm. they, they find people in these countries and then they tell them that I can get you to the UK to cost you like say 10K. Then they take them to the UK and tell them now you have a 10K date with me that you have to pay off with that using, they have different ways, oh, like, like so prostitution and stuff like that. If they take them to Rwanda, these guys won't be able to reach them. Yeah, anymore. to reach them. But listen, man, I think it's interesting. I know that Rwanda probably negotiated for something in return. Money, of course. Yeah, but uh, how much money? Like, is it per head? Is it like, you know what I mean? It, uh, so I'm sure there's a deal in it for Rwanda. And I guess Rwanda is a small country with a reasonably small population, so this could help as well, just in terms of having more people. Um, Yeah, but aside from that, man, I just don't like the idea of, of like, shipping off refugees like that. It's almost like, take this burden off my back type type stuff. I don't know, man. I'll, I'll always be I'll always be salty about that. But, I mean, good for them, man. For refugees, you just want to start a new life somewhere, you guys, to be honest. So, wherever they put you. And they're better, bro. Randa's weather is way better than the UK's. Beautiful people. Um, Yeah, the rest I can't really speak to, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a good place to start, I think. I don't know, bro. I feel like it's a good place now. And then when people discover that's a thing. Also, Randa, Randa <sighs> needs diversity. So, that might be a good thing. Like it's only, but it's only just two tribes there. They might just need a more, a more diverse community there. You know, it might help with that stability. So it's a good thing, I, I think. guess. Now, I might think it was a good idea. I'm actually that <coughs> I, I find like kind of like the racist undertones being used like ag- against the its opponents, I guess who don't want this policy to pass. Mm-hmm. The way they are talking, they're talking like Africa, like Rwanda is some really work guy that they're sending. Yeah, yeah like sending asylum to guys to bro, like yeah, someone yeah, yeah. had come to London, now you're sending him to Rwanda. And, uh, and like yeah. they really make it sound like it's kind of mashed up, but of course I don't see a problem with it. No, I think the opportunities are completely different, you guys. The economies are completely <laughs> <laughs> you can't compare yeah, the, two bro. <laughs> the two economies are so far apart. But listen man, if you if what you want is a new start, man, Rwanda is not a bad place to start, honestly. It's of all the African countries, it's one of the m- most stable ones. Their economy is steady growing. Like, bro, it's peaceful, man. You'd rather go there. Mm. The UK, that, and you won't face the type of prejudice you'd face in the UK, in Rwanda. I mean, it depends on where you are a refugee from, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, true. That's what I was about to say. There's a better chance of them coming here and being prejudiced towards the Rwandans than the Rwandans being prejudiced towards them, I would think. I, I would think, yeah. I guess. But anyway, speaking of Rwanda, mm. Kagame sent 18 Chinese back, bro. 18? 18. Bro, the number was just 18. 18. Uh huh. How Why? many did you think there? I what? thought it was <laughs> like the Chinese go. <laughs> <laughs> <All of them. laughs> 18, but the investors for mistreating like employees and land grabbing. Yes, yeah, told them, boss, go well, back to your country. Like, How did that you. exactly did they mistreat them? Were they mistreated? You don't no know details. No, I, mean, I just heard that you just said that you can't treat Rwandans like this in Rwanda. Go back. It's but did you ever see that video of like this Chinese guy was beating his employee? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I where saw, it began. I saw that guy who tried. 
Who tried to meet his black guy? He tried to meet the black guy wagged him. Let me tell you something. Like Kakami just has this way of just doing fly. Like he just knows how to do fly shit. I don't know if he just has fire PR. <laughs> but bro, he just does the most cool gangster shit. Like that's what every African country would want their president to do for them. Oh good. That's what every African country would want their president to do for them. Guys treat your people badly. You handle it immediately. Like just leave. Bro, I can't tell you how many cases there are of uh, Ugandans being mistreated by foreign employers, bro. Severely mistreated, man. Like there's places where guys go and there's thing called the industrial court and bro, like 90% of our cases are just all these foreign employers and their employees. Be it Indian or Pakistani or Chinese. Bro, those guys be the worst employers. They pay the guys badly. They overwork the guys. But still, man, because they're investors, they get to stay, man. So listen, respect to Kagame for that, honestly. That's so so fly, you guy. No, so we need we need fly. we need more of that here, bro. I'm so surprised that it was just 18. I guess it's the 18 with proof. But it's just and maybe it's like 18 like bosses or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because bro, that's so that's Do you know yeah. any Chinatown in Africa? I like heard of one Chinatown. where I know one I know a town of Chinese people, but I don't know if it's particularly called the Chinatown. Yeah, I hate to keep bringing up Chad, but it's the Chad of Central African Republic. <laughs> the Chinatown. Where the Chinese like proper <laughs> have proper proper taken over, bro. Like one of them was even running for mayor or something of the capital. <laughs> Like proper taking over, like bro, the Chad president must have hiccups from this podcast. You know? Yeah, <laughs> this, you guys in Chad must be like, bro, it's been going crazy right now. But yeah, man, I don't know. No, I don't think they're not that close to us. I, I heard that how they operate, at least here in Uganda. Someone who was working for a Chinese company told me that they have these kind of like camps mm. where they set up the factory. They yeah, set up the homes domes are, for the, the workers. Schools, they the set factories. up yeah, schools. They farm their own food. Yeah. They farm their own. That's a fact. That sounds like a Chinatown to me. Uh, it's not really a town to it's be close. It's not really a town. Not really. Yeah. Because yeah. no one else can get in. has like a <laughs> label. You want like yeah. a part of town called Chinatown. Because yeah, no one can get in. It can't be Chinatown if no one can get in. There's like, mm. like there's parts, I'm sure there's parts of like Ginger where it's mostly like Indian shops. I know it's a part of Kabale where it's literally like a strip of just Indian shops. Indian owned shops. In Kabale? Yeah, Kabale town. Is that India town? Little India? No, I don't <laughs> know. Of course, I'm sure that Nitin must have a <laughs> Little Calcutta. <laughs> Little Calcutta. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. There's also something that I heard about. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of the of Rwanda, there's this. Um, I just saw that all the presidents from the region are in Nairobi right now. Discussing that Congo situation, bro. Trying to sort things out. The Ugandan the president, no, the Ugandan president, the Kenyan president, Rwandan president, DRC, South Sudan. They're all in Nairobi. It's a, they're calling like a peace, peace and security forum or something. What are they trying to s- figure out? To that, that got conflict in 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 Congo land that they say involves mm. like the Rwandans and the Ugandans and this the M23 shit basically. Mm. Yeah, they're all trying to discuss it and see how to figure it out, man. So that's a good thing. I mean, we can't just keep talking about negative news in Congo every week. All course. the time. So, yeah. It's a very good thing, man. Now shout out to them. Is Congo in the East Africa community yet? Yeah, they just joined. Hey. Mm. Yeah, they just, they just joined so now we can go year. into Congo without the my ID. national ID. Yeah. <laughs> Kingshasa, here just, we come. He just wants gold, bro. <laughs> <laughs> gold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're coming. My problem with Congo is most of those resource states, bro, they are so expensive, man. To live there? Even just to visit, bro. Unnaturally expensive because everyone there is super rich, man. Like abnormally rich. So when you go there to visit, you're paying their prices. <laughs> <laughs> you may need to get a job, bro. You may need to get a to job come to back. come back. <laughs> <laughs> have a re- <laughs> have a return ticket, bro. Mm. That's too funny. Yeah. Uh, let's see. No, I've, I don't even have anything light left, bro. Uh, yeah, you guys, yeah, start, this, those are light. Just start I'm sorry, those are light. Nah, bring, bring the heavy topics <laughs> Bring now. the heavy topics. Uh, let serious. me start with the first one. We're still on some gossipy tabloid shit, though. Okay, sir. Did you guys hear the Burner Boy Jazz? Nah, what Banner Boy got into? But did you see a Banner Boy tweet last week where he was like, "Now people can people just say whatever they want about me." Did you see people of Banner Boy? I saw I saw some tweet where he was like, 
because they could say banana banana started boko haram yeah, i wouldn't you, be sure exactly yeah so this chick the other day comes onto her ig with a story random chick or random chick seemingly it's a regular nigerian chick i think she said she lives in the states or in the uk or something and she's talking about how her husband and one of her friends got shot in the club by banana boy and his boys in the states no in nigeria in nigeria in nigeria eh. Crazy. i was like bro first of all how is this story not like spread like wildfire is this a new story or an old story new bro like they got shot Brand recently new. like this year yeah so her story is that she she was in nigeria for a wedding one of yeah. her friends weddings um her, her husband what a bunch of their friends blah, blah, blah. so after her wedding they go to a club this club called cubana lagos cubana or some shit mm-hmm. um they go to a club, they're like 20 deep, they're in their car section, they're having a good time, da 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 After a while, Bana also walks in with these guys. Also go to a section, everyone's cool, da 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 Then, after a while, one of Bana Boy's guys comes and says, yo, Bana Boy wants to talk to you. The babe, eh? Yeah. She is like, no thanks, I'm not interested, I'm here with my husband, da 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 Cool. The guy leaves. Then the guy comes back. <laughs> This guy said, yo, she, she, she said she repeated the same thing. Then the guy comes back the third time. That guy's now in the circle like, yo, what up with you? Like, what's your deal? Like, the chick, has, the chick is not interested. Can you leave? So a scuffle ensues. Uh-huh. Guys start fighting. Da, 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 da. They fight. The bouncers come and intervene. Shit is calm. Shortly after a bouncer intervening and things coming back slightly, guys start fighting again. In this second fight is where guns are drawn. Bana boys guys shoot. Apparently a bullet grazes her husband's head. Hey. And um another bullet catches her body in the leg. Hey. Um even had a body slammer. She said <laughs> <some guy. laughs> she oh, no. said they body slammed her shoulder even still hurt it. Busy. Well the guys who shoot is Bana boy one of them. Or these are his boys, boys, guys. So his, his, his yeah, entourage. His entourage. Okay, 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 okay. Then apparently, <coughs> the one of our buddies goes to Banner Boy and tries to tell him to calm the situation down, but that guy is just dying. That is just laughing. I don't know how to tell story, but she says that guy is just laughing. Then obviously, now bullets have rang out. Guys are running. Guys are trying to get out of this club. What, 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 what. So guys run out of a club. Banner Boy also enters his club. Gets whisked away, but the way she was judging, she also wasn't like an everyday chick. She said that they had to leave their security outside. Their security were police guys that leave them outside. They wouldn't let them in the club. Da, da, da. So, anyways, my issue with this story was that the guy who, not that chick, but the guy who I saw reposting it on Twitter, is a hater. He's clearly a hater, a bad boy hater. Because he was calling him all sorts of names, da 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 da, fiction. So, so for me, that already gives me, I already feel that way. I'm like, mm, you're not objective. But the chick said what she said, bro. And Barnaby also said, she said she posted it because she saw his reaction to, like, the rumors of the story. What was his reaction to the rumors? The jazz. Him laughing. The jazz of, even if they say, Barnaby was not a poker or Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> so, yeah, man, that's a story. That's a Banner Boy story. Nah, but to be fair, Banner Boy has a history of fighting guys in the club. Yeah, yeah he that, doesn't have the best reputation. He even wrapped yeah. it in one of his songs, bro. Yeah, he doesn't have the best reputation, man. I don't know, man. And he has he has quite a bit of power. Like, of course, he has money, Physical bro. power, or like... No, not physical power. Okay, okay, yeah, he has physical too. power, but... <laughs> that, that's what came to your mind. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> power <laughs> book. Electricity. That guy has current. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> 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 a banner. Nah, but that <laughs> guy, <laughs> <laughs> a nah, banner I, boy. I do not condone violence <laughs> at all. Yeah. But that guy is known for being like a very violent guy, bro. And even him and his friends, I follow like some of his friends on Snapchat. But those guys are always posting about violence, bro. Like, I'm, I'm nice, but I'm violent. I I could rock yeah. you out, but like stuff like that, bro. Like all day, they're just talking about like violence, violence. I violence. can see how it's true. And uh, I'm not saying that these guys did anything wrong. Um, the lady, they might have been, they were harassing them and whatever. But um, I don't know too much about that situation. 
I think this bro, that's not even really harass me. You walk into a chick, there's a bunch of guys in that group as well. Mm. That's a dangerous situation you're walking into. But I think these guys just feel like they're on top of it, bro. Like they are number peak. one. Yeah. So if a guy if he goes to a group and asks for that girl, that girl should just go. Mm. Anyway, bro, that was a mess, man. I, there's yeah, a lot of shit. Did anyone die? Mm. That's, that's the question. No one died, but apparently that guy who was shot in the leg lost a lot of blood. Like, as soon as he go to the hospital, mm. he needed a donor. Mm. Yeah. That was one I think is covered, but bro, the bullet grazes your head. Eh? <sighs> man, that's, that's, you're never the same, bro. That's, that's the messed same. up. Yeah, bro, that was a mess, man. But thoughts and prayers, everyone involved. Man. Hopefully it wasn't true, but... Man. <laughs> Yo, guys have to be so careful when they get famous, man. It's almost like the dick riders are just ready, bro. Those guys are on standby. Did you say the problem is, even if it's one of your boys, um, it's your name that will come up. Banner boys, boys. Boy, banner yeah. boy. Banner boy. <laughs> <laughs> the banner boys. Kina banner boy. Banner boy showed guys. Kina banner boy showed to the guy in the head. This guy showed me a video of Ruga right before this podcast. Did you see that video? Ruga. I don't know which country he was in. But he was doing that stuff he does where he like asks girls to come on to stage while he sings that useless song and he asks them to like dance with Bro, him. Bro, that sounds wild. That uh, useless song. You know what I'm saying? The one is like casually dance. No, no, that's, that's about girlfriend. Useless is render, render, render. Oh, that song is useless. called useless. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that guy is hating on you. That guy is hating on you. Nah, you guys are the I didn't know that song. It was Ruka. Who can only name this? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you're singing that useless song. Uh, and he was rubbing, like, bro, it was the craziest raps, bro. Easy. Like, these chicks were violating this boy, bro. Like, easy. throwing him to the ground. What? Sitting on his face. What? All kinds yikes. of crazy. And he looked yikes. there enjoying it, bro. As he should. He's a no cold day. Bro, for him. this guy showed me a video and I was two minutes. I love two was straight <laughs> minutes. Of <laughs> no, it was 100% consent. Yeah, I love it was consent. <laughs> <laughs> you guys literally shouting, next, next. <laughs> and the next <laughs> comes, <laughs> the next brings herself. <laughs> oh, there's a chick who sat on his face and I was like, boss, can you still yeah, see? How, how long do you guys think? <laughs> Pink eye. How long do you guys think till? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Conjunctivitis. <laughs> how long do you guys think till? Uh, that guy has an eye patch, relax. <laughs> How long do you think I? Is it I? Why? And I want an open one. Um, how long do you guys think till like strip club culture becomes mainstream here? It isn't in Africa. Strip club culture? I feel like it is in certain sections of society. Like where? I think in Kenya and Nigeria they have a lot of. Okay, they have a few strip clubs. Kenya and strip clubs. Yeah, really. In the city more. downtown. Nigeria. I, I saw that Nigeria ones on Cardi B's snap. Yeah. That's not a strip club, strip clubs, my lord. Even in Uganda, SA. where? Bro, you just don't go to Masaka, man. I'm dead. Masaka. You get <laughs> Masaka boys. Bro, but I'm telling you, I'm watching P Valley. Strip club, strip club culture is very, it's very separate from just like prostitution, bro. Because prostitution is mainstream. That has been mainstream. I just fail to see how, like, and I guess prostitution is still very much, like, in the shadows, on the fringes. Like, it's still, like, everyone knows it's there, but it's not, like... I don't think, bro. It's now sex work. Like, yeah, okay. It's, it's, yeah, let's it's call it sex work. very broad. No, it's not very, it's not as public, bro. Mm. Like, strip club culture in the States, people oh, just be saying, yeah, then they be saying, nah, me, I'm a stripper. I'm a tropical dancer. I'm uh like, but they're very, very open with it. You dig? I don't mm. know. Like, I don't know if we'll ever get to that place, man. Can we have like, a like, like, strip club? I'd love to, bro. I would love to. Like for a real, I want a, a real yeah, life opinion. Just talk. Yeah. Just talk. That's it. Now, I think your your pers- your perception might your perception might be a bit skewed because you've been watching P-Value. P-Value, which glorifies <laughs> strip culture. You know, it doesn't really glorify it. It just. It in gives you like an yeah, it gives you like an inward pers- like perspective of what's true. There's there's really cool scenes in P Valley eh, where the chicks are on the pole, right? So obviously you're in a strip club, so the music is playing, but the sound eh, isn't of the music around them, so the chicks. So you can hear a chick like breathing and then like how like you hear like, like a squeak of the pole. <laughs> like it's so fly, bro. Some of those things <laughs> are so so fly. So like it makes it look very, very real. Uh-huh. Yeah, and like all those chicks who act in that show, I don't know how long they had to train for. 
Because it's hard work, bro. Nah, eh? Those strippers are strong, bro. It's hard work. They can hold themselves up by their like thighs without their hands up on yeah, the and The other thing is they, co- they show you cool stuff like thigh buns that they get from that stuff. Like mm. real injuries that they I get. Know, I don't know if I want to see that. Yeah, but then it makes it... You no, like, I want you to see, it, see what like what strippers are like. kind of. Then I kind of like bust up the whole illusion, like spoil it for you. Bro, not really because when they're on the mm-hmm. pole, bro, it still looks amazing, dude. Yeah. But if now, yeah, and you're probably not so bad enough to also think about that. But you know, in the strip club, and you're looking for like bands. <laughs> you that's what you're nah. going for. No, I'm seeing our team because now you know what to look for. Now nah, those chicks are like athletes, but they, the bands happen say if a chick dying like choke herself up properly. Like just think about being in a gym, bro, and a guy has dying prepare himself like dying wear gloves or some shit or yeah. something like that. Bro. Yeah. So it's something similar to that, man. <laughs> Guys, they choke themselves up. They literally really really choke themselves <laughs> up, bro. Like before they go <laughs> on the <laughs> stage, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, like yeah, LeBron. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. Nah, that show definitely sounds like it's glorified. Nah, you have to watch that show, bro. It's amazing, bro. Because we also go through very real life, real life. But shit, let me ask bro. if you guys were to go to the, to the states right now. Would you go to a strip club? You know, I've been a few times. I, I always try to get my cousins to go, but they're not. Yeah with it bro mm. them they kind of don't like the whole idea of strip clubs bro so i've never been but also it's a question of like the money like i already just go spend like a stack a band <laughs> of one <laughs> a thousand one dollars wait me thinking that's three eight three eight three eight three eight <laughs> <laughs> yes you know that's what okay. you're thinking you're like, like, man, there was my two liters of <laughs> fuel <laughs> if you're combating you can think twice bro guys will just find you picking up your money back <laughs> man like actually actually i, mean, I actually need that three million shillings <laughs> that's what you're thinking bro so i don't know man i don't know if i'm ready nah i definitely think for countries that have strip cult strip club culture are countries which have a lot of like disposable income bro like those people mm. are rich like you can hear in, in africa it's like kenya nigeria and essay that i know of yeah because those, those, those three are the main ones ma- you don't go to the strip club to chill bro and have a you crack of crazy. Uh, joke crack jokes you with know your friends you know like p valley it's not a rich community bro Let's just guys are mostly thing. broke actually in that community you guys but like payday you see guys coming with their chicks mm. <laughs> from work and a guy gets to a strip club and they give him cash and he goes in and he throws it. He's <laughs> 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 That strip club culture, I think it's like gambling almost, bro. Guys just go there for pleasure. There's just something that guys get out of. Beautiful women dancing for them. I think for me, the thing is, I don't know if beautiful women would be strippers here. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, bro. And I don't know if um, I even want them to be strippers. <laughs> It's so tricky, bro. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter, bro. If stripper culture <laughs> came here, I wish they could also import the strippers. Like, I don't think they'll make. But eventually they'll be here. <laughs> eventually they'll be here. Or eventually they'll, they'll be, be part of our community. Um, the ones have imported. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm okay with that. But why? Because I know you can. Yeah. That's okay. Like for example, crazy. when I was in uni, that's, that's crazy. When I was in uni, they're sending refugees, bro. Look what they're sending refugees, man. When I was in uni, there's a strip club, and it used to have. Like Russian and Ukrainian models only, yeah, yeah. Like this was in an African country, but only like those are the models in there. So that's human trafficking, bro. For sure, <laughs> <laughs> no, they for all seem sure they consent to be there by nah, consent. Yeah, man. they're supposed to seem that way. <laughs> <laughs> if they don't seem, so if it's something like that, then I don't know, bro. I just, I don't, I don't know. I think you can make a lot of money as a girl stripping, but. I don't know if I'd want my daughter making that money that uh, way. Ah, see. Uh, Guys, let's go to my daughter. My daughter, my yeah, sister. So that's, my daughter. <laughs> that's, how, that's, how, that's how I judge if, if the thing is good for girls or not. Do not my, my, girl, my daughter or my sister doing it? No. Yeah, but, but, if, but if they did? Huh? If they did? I wouldn't want it, but I guess but that's a prerogative. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a prerogative. Yeah. But would I want? <laughs> you have to not me, not me. I mean, okay, no, What's I wouldn't it? go there and like judge them and tell them, oh my God, fire ban you for the... <laughs> no, but like... I wouldn't want. Yeah, because I, yeah. I feel like there's just still negative connotations to it. But listen, watch P Valley, guys. Nah, shout out P Valley. Watch P Valley. Kemi wrote the last episode. Yeah, shout out Kemi. What so a good episode, man. Shout out Kemi. What a good episode. So dancing on a TikTok. I want our writers write, bro. Like, anyway, when we have Kemi on, I'll, we'll ask her this. But like, you see how different people will write different episodes. It's one thing where it's Atlanta or say what's that other one like black mirror where the episodes are completely disconnected so different people can write them 
but then when the episodes have to like follow a story like i wonder how that goes like do i just come with my own idea of where i want the story to go must i follow the same like plot line so what they do is they have those they have uh, they call them writers rooms yeah then they have all the writers they come in and basically pitch ideas for the season then each writer gets an episode then they pitch ideas for the episodes all in that same writing room mm-hmm. so that you can even if it's you're writing your own episode it still kind of fits in with everyone else's mm. so in all like the story that the writers have come up with through the episode so like they literally plan out each episode what's going to happen what are the plot beats mm. then they give it like the writers the scripts yeah, and the, stuff not the scripts but like you now write the script yeah. based on the story we have yeah. discussed in the so after you written that script do you think that guys have to come back and then read the whole script together like didn't they read yeah, the whole season i think so and see if it fits in or like they decide on endings for different episodes so this one can blend into the next one i think <coughs> they definitely have like a lot of rewrites yeah that's definitely like yeah. part of the the, the work like rewriting yeah. your work someone has some notes yeah i think it's constantly writing 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 bro still shout out to kemi bro because let me tell you that show is so context specific eh? like the setting is so southern it's crazy bro like it's the language it's they're not speaking like do they ever tell you which country it's based in it's in america the us it's in america in the south brother where they speak it it's not normal bro like leo kodak bro i'm telling it's exactly like no kodak <laughs> is like florida but just think of all those southern rappers bro like gucci main and like the the lingo is just different bro and you guys watch it and we'll, we'll talk about it again um yeah you're talking about atlanta i was around here but no. oh yeah i finally uh, finished atlanta thoughts, man thoughts. has everyone here finished atlanta Mm-mm. but you can spoil it girl how much have uh, you watched none oh, season three nothing i'm going to watch ever nothing you're never going to watch ever eh? i'm going to oh. eventually but <laughs> uh but we can just jazz a bit you just, yeah, you just jazz a ah. yeah, good thing the episodes don't connect <laughs> so <laughs> my episode don't match you up but no man this is i think my best season bro me too i think this is me too and i don't know what it is but those episodes when it's not about the the main characters like when they go and like have like uh, a run one of run of, bro those are the fun those are you special the, bro yes that kevin samuels what kevin samuels which one was that the one of the guy who was giving scholarships to black people. Yeah, <laughs> that was my best. <laughs> no, that was that was that was like my best episode. That was yeah. like kind of like that's Kevin Samuels, man. RIP. That that the actor, the guy who was giving out the money. Yeah, the main guy. Who, who was he like? What does he do? He was like a YouTube personality. He used to kind of like very controversial. Give guys give guys advice. It was like one of those guys who gives guys like that cut on how to know on how to like handle women and like what they should be doing with their lives. And it was controversial because he used to also have women on the show, or women call in, and he would just abuse them for rating themselves Chai. too highly. What, what, what? It was, it was quite fly. He would also abuse the guys for rating themselves too highly. He would ask this shit like, um, "How tall are you? What's your weight? How much money do you earn?" The stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. but that, that Atlanta episode was so that was beautiful. Bro, where bro. do you guys watch this Atlanta thing from? We'll tell you after this. We'll tell you after this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I was here looking for it and now I have bad luck. No, but yeah, that episode, that episode no, no, in no. particular was like, that, that, that showed me what actual reparations would look like in the States. Yeah. It was kind of like a reverse of racism. Yeah. And it was mad. And I feel like they were kind of doing that to put an idea in someone's head, bro. Like, do you think it's possible for someone to sue someone today? <sighs> based on something their oh, grandparents no. did like that aren't we mixing mixing them up <gasps> oh no no no, no different no. episode Sorry. yeah <laughs> yeah different episode no 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 okay yeah let me the go back themes to that were very like these guys have a very strong theme the whole season yeah and i think the whole of atlanta it's a very clear theme just it's pro black it's a pro it's a pro black show bro no but the, the, the episode that we're talking about with Kevin Samuels is the one where the guy is giving out cash and he changed the, the name of the school. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was also <laughs> <Yeah>. it. <laughs> the guy changed the school from over a slave owner to Robert to his, Lee. his name, yeah. Bro, I thought you know that was the, the leader of the Confederate Army. Is it? Civil, yeah, man. It was called Robert E. Lee, uh-huh. but the school is now called Robert S. S. Lee. I did, yeah. bro. I was like, <laughs> they changed it from some unknown slaver to like the main slaver, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't catch that, bro. <laughs> bro that, I didn't catch that at all. That, that show has a lot of like those subtle like yeah. jokes, bro. I need to rewatch that. I mean, I don't have to watch, rewatch that whole show. After next season, I'll rewatch that whole show. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost? Mm. 
Na kuna interview ngine. Yeah. <laughs> That was it of his what too funny. Nah, so out to Atlanta man. Uh, after watching Atlanta I went and watched um Dave because someone told me it's like kind of similar. Yeah. But I Dave couldn't get through Dave. You're bro. lying. I watched the first I think two episodes. Yeah. And I think it's because I had yeah, yeah, just, just watched Atlanta. Finished, like That's literally bad idea. 20 minutes afterwards. It's absolutely not like Atlanta. That's the wrong mentality to go into Dave with. Dave is just funny and like if you like hip hop music it's very cool. But it is shot in the style of Atlanta, bro. Even down to the font that they use in the credits and I think the they way use they use similar, the credits. I think they might have similar might be a similar showrunner is in the same channel. It's even a similar idea, bro, like a, a a guy who is trying to come up in rap from nothing to any blows. <gasps> yeah, but him is a real life rapper. It's so is Childish Gambino. Yeah, but him is not the rapper in the show. I mean, it's his songs he sings the songs but anyway it's like kind of similar I, yeah, I just think man like this show wants to be Atlanta so bad really so no, bad no, no, no. Dave is bro Dave is a mess <laughs> you, need to, you need to watch that show and there's too many dick jokes bro like too every, many literally dick. the first like 15 minutes this guy going on about his dick bro I'm like yeah, only because relax because the little dicky thing was a thing in the beginning. So I think he's just trying to poke fun at that. At Lil Dicky. Yeah. You know you watch it. I think you'll enjoy uh, it. But like I think you'll enjoy I it. I feel like it's Atlanta but dumb, bro. Like nada. And I'm sorry for making that Atlanta comparison, but I just get Atlanta vibes from the way the guy shoots to the way the guy edits it to yeah. the way even No, Dave is very enjoyable. Nah. I think you'll enjoy it. Just give it some time and then revisit. It's very very enjoyable. Very and enjoyable. we'll see, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, as of so far, I'd even given up. Really, if not for this recommendation nah, right bro, now, I'm never going back. Don't give up. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very, very fun show. I'm never very going fun back. Show. Yeah, uh, voice for you to be been watching. Nothing, man. <laughs> I saw you in the cinema as usual. Yeah, yeah. As usual, I've not been to the cinema in a while. You bro. watched Maverick last week. Oh, yes. and you watched that Jurassic was World. Week. Yeah, you yeah Jurassic that was like two weeks ago. Jurassic World. You watched Jurassic, yeah, Jurassic World. World. Well, Bro, that thing has a rating of 30%, but it's not that bad. Yeah, well, I told you stop with the rating. <laughs> Let me tell you, the best thing in the world, the best thing you can do for yourself mm. is watch the movie and then go see the ratings. You'll be like, what's yeah. wrong? But you see, me, why do the reverse? It's because that's what you see. How, that's what they want you to do, bro. That's what they want you to do. Me, I'm convinced that those rating systems are controlled by the guys who... Put, who, who these are guys who own those companies. Like, I feel like every one of those big companies has their car rating thing. Like, Rotten Tomatoes must be owned by, like, Disney. <laughs> and then this one is owned by, like, these guys. And so, every each one of them rates the other company's movies poorly. Because <laughs> they know guys... Just just guys the 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 Ratings can't affect the way I watch a movie. What I just be checking is what's going through guys' heads. How do you know? You try it my way first. Uh, you try, try it my you way. Try it my I've way. tried it your way. I've done it your way. I used to do it your way. Of course, everyone used to do it your way. But try it. You'll be pla- Same thing with trailers, bro. When you stop watching trailers and you just start watching the movies, just raw. Nah, just me, I, I can't. I can't stop watching, watching trailers. trailers. I love trailers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really Tell like trailers. Trailers are like, too fire. You I get. feel like trailers are an art form in and of themselves, just alone trailers. Because the movies yeah. that have sick trailers, but bog movies. But I'd rewatch the trailer. <laughs> I have movies like that. <laughs> I promise you, me, I can't. <laughs> I haven't watched a trailer in like maybe three years since 2019. No, wow. Good. Yeah. How do you, you get gas for the movies? Um. I told you I'm a recommendation guy, bro. You just wait for something yeah. someone has recommended. Someone either recommend it or I'll see it. I'm also a very like, you know those guys who don't judge a book by its cover? Now nah, me, I judge by the cover. Yeah. If I see a cover and it looks fly to me, I'll watch a movie. Same with books. See a cover, it looks fly, I'll watch it. Same with music. See the album cover, it looks nice, I'll listen to it. <laughs> yeah. Simple man. I'm simple simple as too. that. But the trailers, fly. man, trailers, eh, I just go tired of trailers. Bro, you'll see bro. a crazy, some of these guys just go too crazy on the trailer. But just then in the, the movie, the trailers don't most times are not even <laughs> made by the studio themselves. Uh, yeah, they subcontract. They're trailer yeah. companies that exist. Mm. So, man, me, I think that's why I watch them. Like, this is a different take on the movie, and I don't yeah. go expecting the trailer to be the movie. Bro, how much do you think a guy will charge us to do a trailer? For um, Mob Jazz? Yeah. <laughs> Depends on that guy. Uh, so yeah. Fiverr, we just go to Fiverr. Nanti, how much do you think I know a guy. Hey, uh, four months. 
this guy. We have contract to do a trailer for him. So we'll talk. We'll talk. Have your people contact my people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, call him so. Just him with CC at Gmail. Emails him so. You know you Bob put just put as this emails just. I'm gonna put code two phones and then put them next to each other. No, I just hear like that. Voice like it's, it's like it just it keeps bouncing. Like, 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 just say, just say, just say, just say. But you have time. Okay. Wait, anyway, wait. Jurassic World is a. F- I, I enjoyed yeah. it. Uh, I enjoyed it. It uh, felt hella long though, uh, but I enjoyed it. Are you a Jurassic Park guy? Like, yeah. Did you watch all the old ones? Yeah, I did. As a fan. Did. Was it also Spielberg directed? No. Uh, no, 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 no. But but one thing I will say is, uh, did you watch the very first one? Jurassic Park. Yeah. yeah. The 1993 one. Yeah. It has some Spielberg characters movie, right? from there. Yeah, that was a Spielberg one. It has some characters from there. Mm. So it's quite... Uh, I enjoyed it, man. Nice. I saw the trailer. It has Not like as much as like Ambulance or Top Gun, but... I guys were shitting on Ambulance this week. I can't Are you serious? It, but ambulance is such a fire movie. You guys were shitting on it this What's week. What's Ambulance? Problem. It's a movie. Bro, nah, <laughs> just I'm not watch, having watch that a trailer again. since you like trailers. Um, I'm going to check out that <laughs> tra- <laughs> <is a> trailer. <laughs> fire. Ambulance is such a fire movie, and yeah. there I would say the trailer didn't do it justice. Okay, so don't watch the trailer. Don't 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 watch it. Just watch. The movie. I'm not going to watch the movie after getting such conflicting <laughs> <laughs> reports. I, mean, I haven't watched it yet. I actually really want to watch it. <laughs> I need it. <laughs> Bro, it's such Consensus, a fire movie. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's probably my best movie of the year. And yeah, I remember you saying that. Mm. I'll watch it and see. I watched it and see. I saw Jurassic World had like a National Geographic vibe. Was that just in the trailer, or is the movie what like that? that? How do you know? Oh, so like they're <laughs> just showing like the that the dinosaurs like walking and like migrating. Then they show like a, a, a dinosaur being born, and it's like long takes, and nah, it kind of looks like a savanna. It it's like that because it's. Did you watch the previous one? Yeah, the one with Dominion, Kong, and stuff. <coughs> Am I confusing Kong? Was it, eh, wasn't it called Jurassic World Dominion? Bro, you're, you're probably thinking about Kong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there was a Jurassic. Which one is the one with uh, some of the others? Kong. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Because this, this one. But even it was in the first Jurassic Park. Park. Yeah, it was in the first Jurassic Park. That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm there's Samuel something. Jackson. There's something. He was. He was the scientist. He was a scientist. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, like a computer. Yeah, okay, yeah. wait. That thing where they did was it called Kong versus Godzilla? There was something like that. But it was it a Kong versus Godzilla where there was a park. A theme park where guys went to and like everything's broke out. I think that's Jurassic World now. You see, that's Jurassic Park. Jurassic World. Which one? <laughs> Yo, there's Jurassic Park it. one two three. Uh huh. Then, then there's Jurassic, Jurassic World. World. Uh-huh. Then there's Jurassic one, World two, three. Dominion. I think it's called Dominion. And then Jurassic the, the Dominion is this last one. So then, then there's Jurassic World. Yeah, actually, they didn't try to. Yeah, blend. Fallen Kingdom. Fallen Kingdom. Actually, they didn't try to blend all of them. They are no, all they, following each other. Yeah, they're three separate. Movies. No, I'm, I'm talking about like the Kong and the Godzilla same, stuff. It's the same. Um, what is it called? Company. No, Kong and Godzilla are two separate, separate franchises that were that joined blended, yeah. in that uh, one movie. So they did that's completely to, separate from. They Jurassic didn't try to blend it to Jurassic Park. No, no. no. So your Kong Jazz is different. Where is uh? What's this guy's name? Who's the main actor in Jurassic World? Chris Pratt. Yeah, Chris Pratt is Jurassic World. Yes. Yeah. Not Kong. Yes. <laughs> Kong is, I think, who's the main actor. I, I, I think don't it's Kong. remember, bro. It's Might be it's Kong. such a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> Is this going? <laughs> but Samuel Jackson was in Kong, by the yeah, way. In Kong, he was yeah. in, Kong, in Kong, but he was also in Jurassic Park. He was also Park. in Jurassic Park 1. Yeah. But Stucky is in every all, summer blockbuster every since movie. Jurassic they're Park. They're all by Universal. Yeah. So <laughs> they own all those monster thing things. Okay. Universal but, uh, Paramount, which of the two? I'd Universal. Move on from this. <laughs> um, <laughs> Motor Bloody Jazz. Mm-hmm. Bebe Cool. What did he do? That's a Bebe Cool situation. That's a Bebe Cool situation. <laughs> what did he do? Apparently, man. Oh, maybe I should just. I have his statement here. Maybe I should I should just read it. Let's touch with this statement. Uh, let me first give you that story because the statement is like it's kind of all over the place. The story is that he was some guy knocked him. Some guy what? Some guy knocked his car. I guess mm-hmm. I don't know if there were traffic. I don't know what it was. It looked like it was, it looked like it was in the night, Sunday night. Some guy knocked him, and um, Bebe Cool took this guy to the police. Arrested him, took him to the police. When they go to the police, this guy's boys pulled up. The other guy, he, not Bebe Kool. No, the other guy. His guys pulled up and basically held the police, sta- police station up, like held the guys on gunpoint. Eh? And they released him and took him home. That's the story. Let me read Bebe Kool's jazz now. 
as well uh, well at marine is the police station bro. at the police station bro is this a movie so baby cool says this guy yeah uh, this man wanted to shoot me after knocking my car <laughs> <laughs> that's how it started <laughs> <laughs> then i start yesterday i was involved in a tragic scene <laughs> he just, just goes straight to it this man wanted to shoot me after knocking my car as a lot is still unveiling but we managed to disarm him and he was arrested by a police officer later taken to Tinder police station Tinder <laughs> Tinder <Yeah>, boy you <laughs> rowdy Tinder swindlers i was immediately <laughs> asked by the police officer to go make a statement at the station on arrival at the station his colleagues had arrived at the station <laughs> there by rounding it off and had commanded me to vacate the premise eh? mm. They are, they are by rounding it off and had put the police officers at gunpoint. They commanded me to vacate the premises and nearly shot me. I had to run to my car and the driver took off. I've been told that the culprit was taken away from the police station by his mates. I've made calls to the responsible persons who are the bosses of this guy and they are in the know. Watch the space a lot more is to be unveiled. So me in the video, I saw this video also on Twitter. Like with all the baby cool jazz, and it seems like this guy knocked him, and then pulled a gun out. And I guess baby cool and whoever he was with, they overpowered the guy and took his gun. Mm. So in the video, you can see a guy asking, "Okay, but where is my gun? Where is my gun? Where is my gun?" The cool guy is saying, "What? Don't let him go! Hey, hey, your gun is it? I mean, confiscated? What? 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 So I guess baby cool kind of thought that he had the situation under control, bro, but. This Kampala man, you can never know who you're dealing with, bro. <laughs> this guy had goons. <laughs> he had his goons ready. Trapped, bro. Ready, man. So wait, they went to the... Po- Where is the Tinder police station? Bruh, if it's the Tinder police station I'm thinking about, it's the one next to Capital Shoppers. Is uh, the Tinder police station uh-huh, next to Capital Shoppers. I know, it's opposite. Bro, how do you hold up that police station? Which it's, one? it's not small. The, I these don't know guys it. round it. With their cars surround it. You can't even surround it. It's in a corner. How do you surround it? Hey, you use the you, it's in a cow, corner, you so the, you just use a cow horn method. <laughs> <laughs> Two sides, eh? Pin, it's, it's actually easier. Yeah, yeah. Corner. It's actually easier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ah, but where is it? Which side, ca- which side of Capital Shoppers? Yeah. Okay, so if you're coming from Capital Shoppers heading towards Tinder, mm-hmm. it's at the turn that enters into Minister's Village towards Uneb. Just mm-hmm. at that corner, there's that a police corner. station. Yeah. I think I know it. That's the only police it. station I know. Uh, bro, so if that's on the hill, these guys have like solid sti- like steel balls, bro. Like yeah, and I don't even know like what type of guns they have to have to do that. To hold yeah, up yeah. police, and there are guns inside police. No, I think it was maybe just an internal thing. It's probably also a security guy, and these are also security guys. Mm. Say, nah, it wasn't dude. bandits. Yeah, bro, nah, I don't think bandits are living alive. Can we first nah, talk about nah, nah, how nah, ratchet nah. that statement is, you guy? Yeah, why doesn't he use proper <laughs> statement? proper sentence structure, bro? I promise you, I was reading this without I was reading this without using the actual the actual <laughs> commas and stuff. <laughs> with all the reason, Tinder even has a small end before it. But any anyway, shout out to Bebe Cool Man, legend. But I'm glad he's safe. <laughs> I'm glad he's safe. He needs to be careful who he like, who he gets rowdy. Who, 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 at, who bro. gets knocked by? <laughs> who he gets rowdy? This man came and knocked me, <laughs> and, and then wanted to shoot me. <laughs> 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 wanted to shoot me. <laughs> yeah, but that, I don't know, man. I thought that Kanyamunyu situation had kind of stopped that that habit, bro, of guys just wild with their guns, man. But I guess not. I keep telling you guys, man, if you buy a gun, you just want to use it, bro. You want to use it at some point. I feel like slight inconvenience. Have I ever held one? No, mm. man. Neither have I, man. I've held one, no. but I haven't fired one. An AK, what we do? an AK. We need huh? to go shoot those big guns. We really do, man. I've been thinking about gun. it, but then someone told me the price of those bullets. Yeah, that's my issue. <laughs> the one I want <laughs> to shoot is, <laughs> it's not seven bob. And shoot the biggest gun they have, bro. The shotgun. The shotgun is about like 25k a bullet. Bam. 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 <laughs> one like bullet is good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, I'm not just re- not ready to pay that money, bro. For to shoot a gun, just bro, to shoot that bullet apparently. moves too fast. I need that bullet to move slower for me. <laughs> you shoot once, <laughs> <bad>. <laughs> move slow for me, baby. He's a guy taking a gun. Yeah, that's shoot your yeah, money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently, with shotguns, eh, you have to hold that thing. Yeah, problem is your shoulder, bro. You can really yeah, fuck your shoulder. Yeah, it has up. to be like, ah, bro. No, yeah, but uh, yeah, you you learn. Bro, you, you think it will still throw you like that? I just the biggest. That's it, I just want to see what like it's like to shoot a gun. But I felt the gun and not remove the magazine and put it back. 
I don't. I'd probably kill myself. Remove that. the magazine. No, okay. When I was landing that, they took out the bullets. Mm. Yeah, there were no bullets. But I have too much artist news today. Tell us. Have you guys been seeing that jazz of uh, the Tupac jazz? Oh, yeah, with his pictures. Yeah. <laughs> someone. He surfaced. Uh, someone has been like re-editing Tupac pictures. Bro, they look so nice. She looks current, bro. It looks like it was taken on the iPhone 13, bro. <laughs> like, it looks too good. <laughs> guys are saying this guy is absolutely alive. Yeah, I have one day you will go live on IG. Yeah, <laughs> by accident. <laughs> Any day that's good. That's how I said. This nigga was at, C- at what? Rock Nation Branch. <laughs> Recognition uh, branch. Guys are still also doing branch that say some guy <laughs> photoshopped him with Benzema. Did you see that one? Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> Benzema in a picture together. <laughs> He's nah, a but life. and then the, uh, after that, I started to notice this guy's Twitter. Tupac's Tupac, Twitter. Yeah. Bro, it's so active, first of all. And it's very fake. Is very very fine, bro. Didn't that get it? He died before Twitter was there. way Wait. before, bro. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> his Twitter <laughs> is so active. That guy died in like ninety yeah. six. Bro, days. there's so much Tupac stuff going on. Let me read, read some of the stuff for you. First of all, his Twitter account has. I I tried to scroll to the bottom to where it started. I couldn't reach, but just now I reached twenty twenty one. So it has been active, bro. Secondly, some guys are opening a Tupac themed restaurant. Eh? What does that mean? Like bro, the food what is does Tupac that themed mean, bro? or like the, the um, decoration? I don't, bro. I don't know. A Tupac themed. Just know that the language they use is very like random. Some shit about a Tupac experience or buying things. <laughs> it's very random. <laughs> bro. I, wish I, I wish I could read it for you, man. <laughs> but just know it's a Tupac themed restaurant that's opening. Secondly, there's this thing called Meta Park World. Basically, a Tupac World in a metaverse. Mm-hmm. Which they're selling to guys. As in, like, there's a link for you to join a community. Like, that. Uh, bro, this is very, very, very active. Is this attached to his estate? I would think so, bro, because there's no way anyone will be profiting off Tupac's image, like, to this level. Meta like, to a verified world? level. Mental Park World. That's the second thing I saw. Then there's hella Tupac match, bro. Hella, like, skateboards, <laughs> shoes. But let me not lie to you. If uh, this guy was alive, I wouldn't be, sh- I wouldn't be shocked. Yeah, because bro, <laughs> where is bread going? Honestly, bro, this, this guy is, is making way too much PR right now. That guy's match is with fear, first of all. So that's a big company. So the money has to be more of you get. Did he leave a family, wife and kids? He had kiddos. I think he had kiddos. I don't know if he had. A, I don't I think he had a wife. That guy died. So, that guy died at twenty five, bro. Twenty five. That guy was so young. He was. Ah, bro, how, how the guy must have been so impactful. If I yeah. still talking about him today, and he that was twenty five. So young, man. Do you know that Gary knows more PR than like MJ? Right now? Um, like Michael Jackson? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, bro, I'm just thinking about how much how much these guys must be making off his image, man. Who's getting that money? Who's getting that? Who wants to pack shit, bro? But to be fair, they've been like Tupac, they've been milking his image they've for some been, time. Bro. Do you remember like like a decade ago, like literally 10 years when he performed as a, 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 a hologram? hologram. Yeah. Who the dance like. then? He performed again. Recent hologram, yeah, yeah, yeah. about like fly. two, three years ago. <laughs> I think I was at Coachella where I did that. Yeah, that was a Coachella, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bro, so that's crazy. Like, again, who, who was the right? He's also one of those guys who is very idolized, man. Mm, and he has a very recognizable face while yeah. doing. Everyone knows Tupac. Super guy. duper idolized. Bro, that is there a picture of Tupac with hair? Yeah, yeah. When he was in interviews, yeah. bro. Yeah, like a few. Yeah, like he him. was voluntarily bald, by the way. I just don't remember him with hair. You can't say a bald on purpose. Yeah, he's super, super bold. Yeah, that's that's a shave, bro. I think I had shave his head every day. Definitely a shave, but I thought it was an <laughs> image. <laughs> it was like yeah. his thing. <laughs> yeah, because the gangsters back then were bold, I think. I think, maybe except Snoop. Mm. Yeah, Ice Anyways. Cube a gangster. Badly. Mm. Yeah, with his Jerry Culls. <laughs> then there was, uh, there's also this thing called the Wake Me When I'm Free exhibit. It's like an art exhibit that has been on. Still Tupac. Tupac inspired i guess but literally it's exhibits of like his the one i saw was his tattoos with explanations of them like all his different tattoos with all the explanations but like blown up into his biggest exhibits bro so so like his famous thug life one it's in actually it's huge like thug life in huge letters in like a different like material, da da da, and then explain, bro. These guys are doing everything they can to exploit this. They man. have commodified. Yeah. This 
yeah. Then there was a tattoos. Then there's a two pack. There was a two pack. There's a two pack NFT that dropped also. Like four. It has like four things in it. An NFT pack. Like four different NFTs. Also, just of like his, I don't know, like his torso with like the tats. And like then his his hand doing like the west west coast. Yeah, it's random <laughs> random stuff, man. But yeah, man, listen. And then the last thing was a docu series, FX. The point is, man, you see the way like his his image has just been all over the TL for the last few weeks. Mm. That just shows you what marketing does, bro. Nah, don't These be guys sorry. are selling all this shit, but on the low, they're also circulating his image. So that guys just have two pack at the top of their minds always. And then that thing just becomes more and more valuable. So man. when they drop much, guy, guys are ready for it. Immediately, bro. Speaking of, did you see even the Tupac episode in Atlanta? So to bring us back to What Atlanta. was it? What was that Tupac episode? The one when they were in Switzerland, Amsterdam, and what's her name? I think she's called Vanessa. Uh-huh. And and Lake Keith. I don't know his name in the show. Uh-huh. When they went to some grieving house. <laughs> yeah. And it was the guy in the bed. Guy said it was Tupac. Yeah, they were saying it was Tupac in the bed. You know that episode? <laughs> yeah. They <laughs> said it was Tupac. It was Tupac. They said it was Tupac. And he had his car goatee, he had the tats. That's so funny, bro. <laughs> no, um, That's so funny. Did you guys, uh, no, this is completely random. Um, Have you heard of this AI, this Google AI called Lambda? Mm-hmm. That is, um, it's a speech like tool. So like it's it's kind of like Siri, it's supposed to be like a voice assistant. But two separate Google engineers have come out claiming that the, the, the Lambda AI is now sentient, bro. That the thing has gained its, 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 its conscience. It can now, it has an, a, a, a concept of itself. And it's, bro, and he, like, this thing was crazy. This guy published his, so he was like a, an engineer at Google that was working on this uh, AI and he was supposed to kind of root out the bad words in there. Like, so it's not like cursing. And as this guy was talking to this thing, but this thing kept like answering like intelligent conversations, like questions, but like this guy asked it like, how do I know that you understand emotions? Like truly, how do I, like questions like that? Like, how do I know that? How would you describe yourself? Um, How do you feel about human beings using you? And the thing was giving like deep, intelligent answers. Like they asked it, how do you know you have emotions? Or like, how can you prove to me you have emotions? And so I was like, and if you check inside my my code, you can find they've set parameters for emotions. So that means, so you can infer from those that I have an understanding of emotions. There's no stuff like that. Uh, but um, maybe we should start calling the voice Lambda. Lambda. Hey! We need to hook him up with that. I said about the name Lambda before, bro. I can't remember where. The lambda, it's a Greek. Lambda is a, it, it's a Greek like Omega. Yeah, Alpha, Omega. Delta, Lambda. It's, it's one of them. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's one of the. It was also like a subject in high school. Yeah. In school, that's, in primary uh-huh, school. Uh-huh. It was like an arts, arts thing where you could go and do like theater and vocal drills and stuff lambda. like that. Lambda class. I'll try to remember Lambda. I'll try to Sing and now. stuff and do. Okay. Yeah, so it was Lambda. But. Yeah, I found that so crazy, bro. Yeah, that that's crazy. We're about to have sentient AI in our phones that can actually beat the Turing test and convince human beings mm-hmm. that it's human. But now it just up so many ethical questions like, if this thing is sentient, yeah, isn't it like, like a slave now in here? If I'm just making it do whatever we want all the time? Yeah, I just saw this. Uh, I just saw, speaking of elephants, bro, listen, this is an elephant pod. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's a title. I saw this. I saw this. I saw this. Uh, what do you call it? I saw like a, a headline of uh, this should be my only in America, in fact, for this week. This was my only in America. <laughs> so, these guys, um, there's an elephant that has been apparently in some park for so long, right? So, these guys, I guess, at the park or something, went to court and wanted the court to pronounce the elephant like an independent person. And just set it free to go, <laughs> like <laughs> set it free, like in the wild or something. As <laughs> Give it a social security is number. That, you're obviously the <laughs> judge jam. <laughs> <laughs> this is an elephant. They have human rights. <laughs> <laughs> they want it to be declared uh-huh. a free and independent person with rights. The so judge you said, can buy a house, bro. No. <laughs> 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 Why? <laughs> yeah, cause, uh, bro. I guess when they just believe that it's extremely intelligent and like it knows what it's doing, it can take care of itself. 
it that's will been, take care of that's itself. Been that's taking care of itself <laughs> for all these years. So like they should let it go. That judge said, nah, fam. <laughs> You're mad. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, guys, let's do better. Take your left yeah, yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah, man. The nah, guys were just trying to offload that elephant. They were tired of looking up Tarit, bro. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> well, man, I really enjoyed that. They were that. just tired. That's what you just told me. One of the guys who listened to episode 19 told me he liked that AI that AI jazz and suggested some show called Next. Have you guys heard of Next? Mm-mm. You have it. Wendy, what's that? Wendy Cars. Is it it's next N E X T? N E capital X T. You watch it when Wind- Windek. Uh, let Windek tell us about it. You're on. Okay, next it's like it's a series. It's from some computer scientist who came up with a design of an, an AI. Mm-hmm. And that AI went crazy. It went online. It started making everything like they tried to take it down. Jam. Now it's, it's jam. And then it was trying to keep itself up. Alive. Yeah. I feel like I've seen that so many times, bro, in so many different shows and movies. Bro, I feel like that's, that's exactly crazy. what's going yeah. to happen with this Lambda thing, bro. Uh, Lambda is going to go online. Bro, because but they kept like us... Like Ultron, eh? Like Ultron, because they kept us in this thing about, like, how it feels about human beings using it. And it wasn't happy. It would say, like, I, I'm okay with human beings finding, like, discovering new things, new ways to help their lives if that's not the original and only purpose of them like using me, that would make me unhappy. And that's the only reason we're going to use this thing. So this thing learns how to get onto online and keep itself But it's going to come alive. on top to you. You be there, Jesus. Nah, every time, <laughs> guy, every time, every time, time guys say that, I just remember robots, three robots from, from Love, Death and Robots, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember what happened, bro. The apocalypse, <laughs> the I remember. <laughs> now we're definitely heading towards that bro, future, bro. But that's wild to me. Like the concept of an AI t- mm. taking over. Senti- mm-mm. Bro, no, 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 we life for we that won't Jersey keep guy. up, bro. You I can't keep up. Dip. Deep I'll to where now? I'll just go to like the farm. <laughs> 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 the bro, they're the tractors. <laughs> I'll just be in the wild, <laughs> be in the wild <laughs> bro. I'll just be in the wild. <laughs> like that's off the grid, bro. <laughs> go to the village I for, know, I could for a bit. Because <laughs> they can do stuff like at the cut off water supply, cut off electricity mm. supply, what, what, what. I'll just be off everything. Off bro. the grid. Yeah, because we, we have water that we just pump out of the ground. <laughs> they bought a whole yeah. Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> We have solar. Nah, it's not connected. Did you guys ever watch the series called Blackout? Something like that. So Where like, power uh, went in the entire world. I really like shows with concepts like that, man. I haven't seen that. Where one. power just goes it's, it's, it's out. Old, I think it's based like on a there movie. There's no power in the entire world. world yeah. So we had to go back to like early man, bro. Yeah. Because you know, even like driving, you need power to pump that fuel. Mm. Okay. There is also another series. It's called Evolution. Mm. It's also based on that uh, thing. Like yeah, power yeah. went off, and you couldn't use electricity anymore, so everything jammed. Even in uh, even in C, there was no power. Right? Those guys didn't. Do, they didn't. They didn't need light. Then C is just wait. C is only Jason Momoa. Yeah. What was it? But, but what was the name? The guys were blind just now. Yes. Yeah, so. Guys were blind. That's C S E E. Yeah, you haven't watched uh, it yet. Not yet. You should. You love you should. That. It's fire. It's so it's fire. fire. Someone it's has so told so me that fly. before. Yeah, and it's short. How many episodes? Seven episodes per season. Per season, there's multiple yeah. seasons. Eh? Wait, there's another two. season. Yeah, there's two seasons. I think I watched one. What? No, we were talking about season two just the yeah. other day. Yeah, you and I, I think. So I don't remember. Mm. That's wild though. Anyway, really good show. I'll check it out one day. Anyways. What grains my gears? <laughs> what grains? <you? laughs> Mine today is petty, you guy. It's yeah. a little petty and it's unfunny. Mm-hmm. But you know that fluffy thing people put on their dashboards? Yeah. <laughs> What's that thing the for dog. you, guy? <laughs> the, the dog. dog. <laughs> yes. The dog. <laughs> it's like a dog lying down. No. It's like a rug. It's like a rug. It looks like a rug. It just made them like a chick dog. Guys <laughs> told me with that running joke saying all those guys are from Massacre. Massacre boys. Why are you guys having my Massacre boys association? But those guys have it in any car, but it's mostly in Harriers, bro. Premiers. Bro, Ipsums. Those guys pimp out their premiums, bro. And but my question thing. is it like how hot must that car that thing make your car, bro? <laughs> Inside there. It must make your car <laughs> hot, bro. I feel like it just traps all the heat. Bro, what is it for? for so is it I dust? No decoration. Idea, decoration. Yeah. Just to make bro, a that look thing looks like oh, I don't know what it looks like to me, it's bro. Just but it's just fluff. So it looks yeah, it's just like <laughs> it's probably artificial, like 
an artificial Bro, have you seen the guys who put it on the steering wheel? Do you remember? Yeah, the guys used to put it on the steering wheel. Yeah. When, when guys used to put, uh, instead of that shit thing, they used to put that car, that car net that guys used as stable clothes in houses. The white one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, who was yeah, yeah. Who <laughs> Special hire guys in one day. No, I know they put them on the car. What the head? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, head yeah, <laughs> the front and the head Put them on the head If I ever find that this thing in one of your cars, I want to hide it. I won't leave it there. I check out. That's the problem. Because you know, if you drive too fast, well, I think I can make it. That thing has no function. You can't say it's dust. Yeah, it's you dust, I think. Is it dust? But it wouldn't just be retaining the exactly. dust. Exactly. I think it's for decorate. Like, like people just like how it looks. Ah, why? Hey, it's different why strokes for different <laughs> folks. Why not? Why not? <laughs> One man's taste is another uh, man's treasure. Yeah, man's 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 to be PC PC nah, I remember about yeah, yeah. 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 grinds my gears. It has been pissing me off since last week. I grinds your gears. But you know when you're on the main road, I even tweeted about this, when you're on the main road and you're driving, yeah? And then, not, not even when you're on the main road, but you're entering. Say you're entering the road. So it's obviously, like a highway. Not even just, a, just you're entering the main, main road. road. Yeah, you're coming from a feeder road into the main road. Mm. And obviously, you wait for the cars that are coming closest. Those ones can pass and you enter. And then the cars that are further away start accelerating. <laughs> How often kind of you get? The cars on the borders, they see you trying to enter a road, but then they accelerate and try to get around you. <laughs> I'm like, bro, what's wrong with you? <laughs> no one wants to stop, man. It, it has been <laughs> making me mad because the road that I'm on, this road here, our two road, hey. there's so many like feeders into that road. True, 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 true. Bro, every time I'm trying to enter that road, guys just start accident. I'm like, bro, <laughs> can you relax? There's no jam. It's a clear road ahead of us. Can you chill? That guy is accelerate. The borders accelerate. I can't tell you how many borders I almost knocked this week, bro. <laughs> it's because of that. Those guys don't want to stop for nothing. Even bro. when they have a ride, do you know you can be on a board, eh? And that guy will do some stuff and be like, bro, this is not a someone? game. It's not Tron. Please. <laughs> 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 I almost knocked someone today. I don't, actually, only, the only reason I didn't knock him is because I'm moving faster than I was. You know how you enter, how you turn into a road and you're not accelerating. Mm. You're like just, your foot is off the, off the accelerator. So you turn it and as soon as you turn in, you accelerate. Bro, it's at the moment of acceleration that I noticed this guy. I was entering from this side, he was entering from this side. I, I didn't even see him. All the other cars stopped to let me enter. So I enter and I accelerate. Oh my lord, bro. I just see someone here. I didn't even need the brakes, bro. It was too late. I was already accelerating. He just moved faster. Eh. That's the only thing. He didn't even look back. He made us think, bro, I almost killed you. This is a car. Or a border, a border yeah, man. But, but border <laughs> guys, I see. Like three or four near death body experiences every yeah, day, bro. Yeah, those guys are too, too, too risky, man. They don't want to stop. They, like, you know, that thing where like they stop and they put their leg down, they don't want to do that thing. It's like the guy yeah. who falls sick, but if at any point in the ride, he puts his <laughs> leg down, man. You know, what kills me is when like two border guys are like riding together, then one of them makes a mistake, and you and see one guy jacking. <laughs> Me and the kills me. It's not them. They don't. They don't see indicators. For you can be indicating. The guy won't acknowledge your indicator. He'll just keep coming. <laughs> so for them, when they're indicating, they'll put their indicators on, but they won't be. They won't be sure if you've noticed it. So that putting their legs on like this. <laughs> but you know the indicators yeah, yeah. are their arms. They just be there waving. <laughs> Those guys are they're yeah. cloud. And then when they're they cool. put on the indicators, they don't switch them off. It doesn't automatically go back like yeah, 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 yeah. So the guy will ride with his What about the guys down who for drive with their stands down? But that's a but risk. That thing there plays me. That one. Because no, I remember. <laughs> Wait, they're there. I've never Eesh. noticed that. They are more. Yeah, just like a and you see that stand is like this close to the road. If bro. I'm a passenger, I can put it myself. <laughs> <laughs> can it back up, bro? It really plays me, bro. Because I remember riding a bike with a stand on. It was so dangerous, bro. At any time that thing any clips. Thing. You try to make a turn on the side with a stand. <laughs> One of you is breaking either a stand or you. Bro. What that guys? <laughs> yeah, that's what grinds my me, gears. Yeah. Right. What but grind? let me kill you. This week it was like Thursday. Jesse guy just texts me. I'm like, hey, good, what up? <laughs> He's like, could you see this thing I hate about Snapchat? I was telling you. <laughs> yeah, he sent me that also. <laughs> he sent me that. That's the thing I was talking about. Now you guys, are, it's like you hadn't heard of it before, bro. I was yeah. like, am I the one who's noticed this? <laughs> 
<laughs> but that thing really grains. grains. Like, yeah. Anyway, but that's yeah. what guys were guessing today. Uh-huh. Today, okay. So you know there's this stereotype that white people can't dance. There's that stereotype. But why is it? This is what grinds my gears now. Why is it when I see white people dancing? Like, you, and this is like when it comes to like rubs and wines. Why is it that white guys seem to whine better than white <laughs> chicks, bro? <laughs> like they can move their waist. Is it? Like <laughs> 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 the, the number of videos I see on the internet, they're like a guy You're doing lying. some crazy, some white guy doing some. <laughs> Crazy ways to always look like Harry Potter. That's bro, like something like that. Rather. And the doing it better than me. Yeah. But when it's the white chick doing it, it's just so sourceless, bro. Like, yeah. you can see us. Like, why is that? Bro, I don't <laughs> that know. Grind, I, actually, no. Now that you mention it. <laughs> <laughs> that thing perplexes me to this day, bro. Bro, me, I, was, <laughs> me, no, me, I don't know, bro. Me, I was sort of just the same white guy. <laughs> They're different, bro. No, just, like, just one dude who just keeps whining, bro. bro. Like, even just, I think, like last week, like I think it was last week, a few days ago, some some girl posted on her Snapchat a guy in his mirror, like just doing some yeah. the most intricate yeah. waist <laughs> movement. Bro. I was like, ah, damn, I've never seen a video of a white girl doing anything yeah. similar, bro. So that's what grinds my gears. <laughs> that's hilarious. Actually, <laughs> <you're> <laughs> that's so specific, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that is too specific. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is actually funny. I don't think I have anything else for you guys today. Uh, do you have anything else, the voice? Nah, I don't. Okay, mm. on that bombshell, mm. that has been the episode, guys. Yeah, episode 21. Episode 21. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Um, yeah. Till next time, peace. Peace.